Welcome to Crazy Sounds, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dine. I'm ID Explosion One Star to the timer. A ding. 10 minutes or less. Yo. Yo. You told me you had something about golf you want to talk about. What's up? Yeah, did, you didn't hear about the, the new thing with the LIV, the Oh, Saudi. I did, yo. I, 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 ha, I didn't have it, but I heard about it, yeah. So, yeah, apparently the Saudi Golf League, LIV, is poaching a bunch of players from uh, the PGA. Right. Um, well, I mean, they got lots of money, yo. Yeah. So, it looks like Phil Mickelson. I saw that. Up. And it is rumored that he got somewhere in around the realm of two hundred million dollars. Two hundred million dollars, yes. dude. That's why uh, WWF goes out there and does events. They, yeah, yeah. they said they they made a deal with the Saudis to do events, and they said something like the amount of money they've made from the Saudis is almost the same they made from their whole TV contract to go over there and do like. A couple of they get like fifty million dollars per event they put on, and yeah. they only make like a billion over like yeah. eight years or something for whatever ridiculous it was. I was like nuts, absolutely nuts. Yeah, so, nobody wants to piss them off because they got money. Yeah, no, and you know, like you know, they have like their things where apparently there was like a reporter that came up dead. Because, you know, Not they, surprised. they wanted him off the books. Yeah, yeah. Well, like that whole journalist thing where they had the hit squad go and torture and murder him. And then, like, everyone's like, oh, yeah, the Saudi prince was behind that. And everyone's like, what do you mean? I'm sorry. Who? who? Excuse me? I don't even know who that is. Yeah. Next, yeah. next subject. Yeah. So, so I just thought it was kind of funny. And, like, there's a whole thing about, like, how they don't allow women to play golf over mm -hmm. there and everything. So a lot of people have been not going. Yeah. Um, they tried to get Tiger Woods, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, rumor is is that he got offered somewhere in the realm of half a billion. Uh, well, here's the thing: Tiger's still trying to play in the U.S. Right? He just came back. Yes. You know, yes. once he realizes he's never going to win in the U.S. again, <laughs> he'll 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 take that payday. Why do you think he? If he, how is he not going to win in the U.S. If all the other players are going over to make big money in Saudi? You're not wrong. And the PGA is suspending everybody who yeah. jumps. I saw in the article I read, Phil Mickelson has a had had earned a lifetime membership to the PGA, and they've yeah. suspended him from suspended him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But what's a suspension really? Yeah, th them holding saying he can't play till they decide he can. It's a slap on the wrist. It means nothing. You're suspended while you're making two hundred billion million dollars, three to ten times more than you would make here in the states. Yeah. That's yeah. just for playing, not even for winning. What just I thought was play. interesting, um, too, going back to the WWE going there, they the first couple events, no women's matches. Mm -hmm. The last couple, they've 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 convinced them to let women wrestle, but they have to wear long sleeves yeah. and they can't wear their normal outfits that yeah. are all sexy and whatever. They yeah. wear like long sleeve shirts and but they can have their faces uncovered, but they, I think they have to have their hair up or something. Like but yeah, like they're letting women perform, but okay. like I didn't I didn't realize they were doing that. that yeah, they they it was like they've had like one or two matches out of all the matches. So like they're 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 pushing them a little bit. All right. Yeah. Great. But they don't play in the Saudi thing because there was a rumor like one time there was an issue with like the WWE people coming back. Yeah. They like were stuck in the runway on their plane for a long time and there was issues that there was like some sort of issue between WWE and Saudi Arabia and they basically were holding them hostage. Did we watch that on the dark side of the ring? I think we watched No, no, that. no, that was something else. That was but, with the Saudis though. Yeah, th this where, was this was Or was uh, that Russia where they got it was, no, that was the plane ride from hell where they were coming home and there was like they were like assaulting the stewardesses no. and people had their D's out. No, there was one where I think they were either in like North Korea or something maybe, and they were like, yeah, so I didn't know if we were gonna make it out of there. They were holding <laughs> us and they made us stay in our rooms and everything. Right. This was they were on the plane and they were like and they ended up having to take them off the plane and whatever because there was they the rumor I don't think anything ever came out obviously that was like there was some sort of issue about payment like. No. Vince was trying to get more money than they had agreed or did the, uh, and he was like, "No, you can't fly home." So all the people were like, "Yeah, you don't the Saudis will murder you." You don't want to mess with them. Yeah, man. like for sure. But it, yeah, dude, that's nuts. I think it's just crazy. It's so crazy is that they're like a crime syndicate basically. Yeah, and what's interesting is they this really prince are. is one of the most progressive of all of them. Yeah. He's like allowed tech, some technology to go over mm. there and he recognizes that like he can make a lot more money. By letting certain other things happen. So nuts, man. Yeah, dude. That whole area is... It, see, and that's the thing. It's like, 
I would love to go check that out. But as an American, it is a thousand percent unsafe to go over there as a tourist. It is. Would would you be willing to say they were like, we want you to come over to Saudi Arabia and do podcasts? Well, see, here's the thing. If you go over as a celebrity, like the wrestlers and stuff, it's still dangerous for them. Yeah. But they're fully guarded. They're fully watched. But just like you and me, like just like if they offered to do that, we would have to say, yeah, but we want security. We want yada yada. But if we just were like, you know what, TNT, let's take a vacation to Saudi Arabia and just go check out the local markets and stuff, we'd be dead. We would die. I was thinking about leaving Austin altogether and maybe just moving to Saudi Arabia. I think that's I think that's good. You think that's a good idea? It is. You think I'd make it? Uh, Probably. Probably. But see, you could like just tell them that you're not American. You could be like, oh, I'm. (laughs) You you could just be like, I'm this instead. What am I gonna do? Fake an accent? As soon as they hear me say cheeseburger, they're like, yeah. <laughs> as soon as you put on a baseball hat, they're going to be like, American pig dog. Yeah. American pig dog. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, dude, but I roll over there like white white as hell. Like, it's, oh, yeah, you're done. They, they know you're I'm done. American, right? Yeah, you're they, done. Yeah. Like, and there's, in that, I mean, that's just the world we live in. Like, as Americans, we have lots of freedoms. We have lots of whatever. But there's certain countries we go to. They don't nah, like man, this, we're eh? a target, man, just yeah. for being American. Yeah, they'll leave you alone for the most part, but... Yeah, All it takes like, is one guy one, one that's thing. in a terrorist cell over there, yep. sees an American walking around, and he's like, let's kill them. Let's take them and hold them hostage. Let's... One cop that's having a bad day. Right, anything. It's just, it sucks. Like, I mean, we can go a lot of places, right? Like, we can go to... It, it just It's just some of those Arab nations, because they have... We, they... They are very much uh, et- educated in their culture that Americans are evil. And, you know, they, they're jihadists and all this stuff. So oh, anything taught. American is evil, you know? Yeah, hate, hate is definitely taught. I, I just wonder, Jonas, if I would be willing to go. I don't know. Like, I've, I've told you a million times that I'm not all about putting myself in dangerous situations. Right, right. Somewhere where I can potentially die. Right. But then again, two hundred million dollars. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there there were wrestlers that won't go. They said they just won't go. They yeah. they, they they refused to go perform is it, there. Is it because of like the safety, or is it because of like their? Views? I think both. Some some it's one. Some there's one guy. He's Syrian. He's from Syria, mm-hmm. and he's like, I'm not going there because of because like all the issues they have with Syria, like his home country. You oh, know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. And then there's other people who just I don't I don't feel safe going. I have a family. That's you know, true. other that's like they oppress women. They do you know. So it's like whatever their per- but. But your personal bias can really fall off when that check shows up. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Man? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like sitting up here like, how much would it take for me to go to Saudi Arabia? <laughs> I don't know. I would love to go see it. I bet you like the architecture is beautiful. I'm sure there's so, like, cause and there's, it's such a rich, like the UA, uh, Dubai. Yo, Dubai's, Dubai's fairly safe for Americans. Yeah. It's not quite it's, that. And it's the craziest city you'll ever right. see. Right. And it's like, just, it's, it's just nuts. money. Everywhere. incarnate Everywhere. like it's just you want to turn a building oh you want to turn 10 billion dollars into a building here you go yep that's what we did we Every, built it on the sand everything's super elaborate oh you wanted a bird aviary in your building here <laughs> right. you go right like it's An entire I, rainforest. I would love to see some of that stuff i be, would too because it would just be cool to see and uh but yeah man that's on the areas. list jonas that's on the list dubai, dubai and, and japan yeah i, I do want to go to japan too because japan will be i think japan will be cool um just because it's like some of the like Tokyo and stuff, just the amount of people. It was just nuts. I think I might look into it, Jones. I think you've convinced me. <laughs> I think you've convinced Dubai me. Dubai would be neat. Right now. There are butt cheeks on. Uh, never yeah. mind. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. I don't even Dude, see it if you're listening to the podcast. You can, uh, you can then you can be a total Austinite and be like, just got back from Dubai. You know, when over there. <laughs> just got back from Dubai. That is some shit somebody would say, even if they've been to Dubai like three years ago. I just got back in 2013. Mm, just, just got back from Dubai not too long ago. They'll say it like that. Yeah, you know, I was in Dubai saving some endangered children. And- well, yeah, I, I don't know, dude. I just thought it'd be interesting to, to, to get into the idea of like, how far would your morals go versus... To go yeah, like to go to Saudi Arabia, like to perf- and that's the difference. It's like, am I going there to visit or am I going there as like to perform? Yo, if they tell me that they want me to perform in Saudi Arabia and they want to pay me an extravagant amount of money, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a trap because nobody wants to watch us perform. <laughs> Nobody's gonna pay us. I mean, 
not the, the crown prince is not what if, what if listening to the crazy if, tale podcast what if i can't even remember the guy's name anymore the gold the, the gold miner what if he has hookups? Young blood? Yeah, Dr. Youngblood. Oh my god. What if you he, gotta dig in a crates to even get that? What reference. if he hits up some people he knows in Saudi Arabia and he's like, yo, there's these guys. They got <laughs> I think you'll podcast. really like their podcast. <laughs> the Crown so, Prince is sitting there right now. He's like, like champing I'm, at the bit yeah. to get dynamite on his throne. Oh look, Crown Prince Jonas, tell him where, where the Crown Prince can get our information. <laughs> Go to thecrazytown.com. Uh, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Once you do that, hit that notification bell. It goes ding, Jonas. DNT. Oh, yep.